to you Say you say it like that If I hate you then I'm someone new Hey guys, it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. I'm finally back with a DIY video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make a five different types of bookmarks. A lot of these DIYs use the same materials so it's really easy to do. I loved how all of them turned out so please make sure to let me know down below which one was your favorite. If you guys are new to my channel and would like to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing and also like this video if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so to begin, we're going to start off with the elastic bookmark and what you need to make this DIY is some elastic. I got these from Hobby Lobby. You also need a pair of scissors, super glue or a hot glue gun, and then you also need an average size book or notebook for reference. To begin, you want to take your reference book or notebook and take your elastic. We're going to measure out and see how much elastic we need. So I'm just adding a little bit of pages to the end of this book just so that my elastic is big enough even when there's not a lot of pages left in the book if that makes sense. So I'm just going to stretch it out and just cut where I think it's a good spot. So my elastic actually came out to be about 12 inches. I think that was a good size. Alright, next I'm going to flip the elastic upside down and then taking one end, I'm going to fold that to meet in the center and then taking the other end and I'm going to overlap it just a little bit because I'm going to glue it together. You can go ahead and tie a knot at the end but I wanted mine to be more seamless. So I'm adding a little bit of super glue to the end and then adding the other end right on top. And then I'm actually going to add in this paper clip. This part is optional but I'm just going to make sure it doesn't move around while it's trying to dry. And you want to make sure it dries completely before you start using it. So this is what it should look like. It should be able to stretch without any issues. So I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. Um, as you guys can see here that the elastic still fits over a lot of pages compared to how we were fitting it earlier. And then I also found this arrow paper clip in my collection. And I'm going to stick the elastic through parts of the paper clip. And then you can actually move this paper clip up and down to point exactly where you left off. And I thought this is a super cool idea. So I really liked how this one turned out. This next DIY is a charmed ribbon bookmark. This one was really, really easy to make. All you need is some ribbon, a pair of scissors, super glue or a hot glue gun, and then a charm piece. So my charm piece is actually from an old necklace and body chain. I just put them together with a couple jump rings. So this is a great idea to save money. So just go through some of your old jewelry pieces and just make your own charm. So to begin, take your reference book or notebook and you're going to put your ribbon right in between the pages. You want to measure out how long you want your bookmark ribbon to be. So um, you can go ahead and trim this later but I'm just doing a rough cut. My ribbon measured around 12 inches but you can definitely make it a little bit shorter around 10. So now we're going to attach our charm to our ribbon. All you need to do is take one end of the ribbon and take your charm which should have a nice big jump ring on it. You want to take your ribbon and insert it from the top down. So you should have a little uh, piece of ribbon in the back like so. Add a little bit of glue and then fold that excess ribbon on top and let that dry. So just like the other DIYs, I'm going to take a paper clip which is optional and just clip it together while it's drying. And then I'm going back to the book to reference how long I want this bookmark to be and you can trim it here if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot at the top. You can actually add another charm up here if you wanted to but I just kind of like it a little bit plain. Moving on to the next DIY, we're going to make these paper tassel bookmarks. To do this DIY, all you need is some scrapbooking paper, some tassels, which you can make yourself. It's really easy. You just have to look up on YouTube how to make them. But I found these really cheap ones from Michaels, so that's going to save me some time. You also need some stickers, which is optional if you want to jazz up your bookmark a little bit. And then you also need a hole puncher and a pair of scissors. So first you want to go ahead and cut down your scrapbooking paper. My bookmark is 2 by 6 inches, but of course you can make any size you want. And then I also found this sticker from my sticker packet that fit my bookmark perfectly or else you can go ahead and freehand or draw anything you want on your bookmark. 
I also have this corner rounder so I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners of my bookmark um, this part is totally optional but I just like that rounded corner look if you don't have this punch you can go ahead and just use a scissor it's really easy Next, just go ahead and punch a hole at the top of your bookmark because we're going to insert our tassel through here. So like I stated, I got my tassel from Michaels, but again, you can make one your own if you want to. So taking that little loop of the tassel, we're going to insert that into the hole that we punched. And then taking the tassel part, we're going to insert that through the hole and then pull the tassel through the back. And that, that is pretty much it for this DIY. It was really, really simple and I loved the way that it turned out. And then for the next DIY, we're going to make these paper heart corner bookmarks. This one is also really easy to make. You just need some square uh, scrapbooking paper. So these are 6x6. Six six. You also need some stickers, again, optional to decorate your bookmarks. And then a pair of scissors. Really, really that simple, you guys. To begin, you just want to take your square piece of paper and flip it upside down. This part, it's really hard to explain origami or folding paper, but you just want to connect the opposite corners um, and then open that up and then connect the other opposite corners. Um, literally just watch what I'm doing. It's really hard to explain, but here you want to leave it as a triangle and then taking that center piece, fold it down so that it matches where that folded half line is. So it should look something like this. And then you really wanna make sure you bend down those creases really well. So this way you should have a little flap and then take one of the other corner, fold it so it connects to the top corner, as you guys can see. And then again, really fold down those creases. You can use your fingers or take a card if you really want to flatten it out. And then you want to go ahead and repeat the same step to the other side, fold it up so it matches up on that top corner. And then now it should look something like this. So to actually make it easier, I'm going to take one of those flaps and unfold it. And then you want to take that other flap and fold it inside. So you guys see what I'm doing. And then repeat the same step to the other side. Alright, so this is what it should look like. This is the front and then this part here is the back. And so what you want to do is fold it in half with the front part facing each other. And you want to fold down that crease and then take a scissor and we're going to cut a half circle up top like so. So that when you open it up, it looks like a heart. And this is what it should look like. The front is a heart and then this is what the back looks like. Just like that. Very, very simple. And so I repeated the same steps to a different type of paper and then added a gold foil sticker on top. And I love the way that it turned out. So really simple to do and you just stick it at the corner of your book, any corner that you'd like. And it looks really, really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Alright, last but not least, we're going to make these magnetic bookmarks and the materials you'll need would be some scratch scrapbooking paper. They don't have to be super big. You also need some stickers, again, which is optional just to decorate your bookmark. You also need a pair of scissors, super glue or hot glue gun, and then some magnets. So I found these magnets um, on some old magnets around the apartment, so that saved me a little bit of money. Alright, to start off with it, you want to make sure you have a scrapbooking paper that is long enough the vertical way because you want to have enough space on top of that sticker so that when you fold it in half, there's equal amounts of paper on both sides. So for example here, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to leave a little bit of space up top because that's where we're going to insert it into our book to use as a bookmark. So here I'm going to cut around the border of the sticker making sure that my scrapbooking paper peeks through a little bit so it kind of makes like a border effect. So this is what it looks like now. You can keep it like this and just glue the magnets on. However, I'm going to cut a small indent up in the top on both sides so there's a skinnier piece in the center. It's hard to explain but you'll see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to cut a small piece from each side and just kind of take that out. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up and you're going to see a skinnier uh, strip in the center. 
So this is what it looks like. Um, you can definitely skip this part. I don't know why I did it, but I think it was fine the way it was before. But here, I'm just going to go ahead and super glue the magnets on. You want to place them a little bit lower. You can put them in the center, but I prefer to put them just a little bit lower than the center. That is just my preference. I think it just works better that way. And so just press firmly. And then when you're putting the other magnet on, make sure to fold the top down to make sure that the magnets are aligned when they are folded down just so you know it works better so just let that dry completely and you are done with this DIY lastly a tip it depends how strong your magnet is mine wasn't that strong so it could only hold a couple pages any more pages than that the magnet wouldn't stick together so just something to keep in mind So that is it for my DIY bookmarks video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please let me know down below which ones were your favorite. I think my top three are the tassel bookmark one, this elastic one, and then the folded paper heart corner one. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.